Congress. It's impossible to believe anything this Prime Minister says. First, when he gave $15 billion for one battery plant, he said there'd be no foreign workers. It was all a rumor. And then he said it would be one. And then his minister said there'd be a few. Now the company says it will be 900. This is $15 billion, $1,000 in cost for every single family. And now they're giving the money for 900 workers to do foreign workers to do a job that the Canadian Building Trades Union said could be done by our people at a cost of $300 million of lost wages for our union workers. Will the Prime Minister release the contract so we find out how many Canadian tax dollars are going to foreign replacement workers? The right honourable Prime Minister. Again, Mr. Speaker, I'm going to have to uh, correct the facts uh, in this House of Commons, yes, given uh, what the Leader of the Opposition continues to say. 2,300 local Canadian construction jobs and 2,500 permanent Canadian jobs when the Stellantis plant is completed. Right. There will be 3,000 jobs in the region when the North Bolt plant in Quebec is completed. Uh, you'd think the Leader of the Opposition would support those, but he doesn't. No, He's he uncontrollable doesn't. urge to make everything a partisan issue means He's not supporting the investments that are going to help in Windsor, in St. Thomas, uh, in Quebec, or elsewhere across the country. Right. He wants cuts. We want investments in the future of Canadians. Right. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This Prime Minister has forced 7 million Canadians to cut back on their diet right. to a point where they are no longer healthy. Yeah. This Prime Minister has forced Canadians to cut their budget for food and therefore a record smashing two million people are lined up at a food bank every month around corners in ways that we haven't seen since the Great Depression. That's the austerity he's opposed on Canadians. Now he wants to quadruple the carbon tax on the farmers who bring us our food. We have a common sense conservative bill, C-234. Will the Prime Minister stop blocking this bill in the Senate, let it pass so that our farmers can produce food and our people can afford to eat it? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, if the Leader of the Opposition actually cared about Canadians being able to afford their food, uh, they wouldn't have dragged their heels uh, on the passage of C-56 uh, that is increasing wow. competition in the grocery sector. Uh, but indeed, Mr. Speaker, there are a lot of factors that, uh, that deliver higher food prices, uh, not just for Canadians, for people around the world. And one of the key ones is Russia's continued illegal invasion of Ukraine, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, a we can affirm clearly that we will stand with Ukraine with everything necessary for as long as necessary. As we saw last week, no Conservative politician can say the same in this House. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Actually, we are the only party that has stood with Ukraine, Mr. Speaker. Prime Minister, I understand what he's doing. He has imposed so much misery here at home, whether by doubling housing costs, forcing people into tent encampments, uh, forcing two million people to go to a food bank. These are the problems here at home at the kitchen table. He is so desperate to talk about anything else that he avoids talking about what's happening in our own country. So will he answer the question? Will he take his tax off our farmers so our people can afford to eat? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition full well knows that 97 per cent of fuel emissions uh, in the agricultural sector, in the farming sector, are already exempt from our price on pollution. But he is so desperate to try and score partisan points that he actually refused to stand in support of something v Volodymyr Zelensky asked us for in this House. How is the Leader of the Opposition explaining to Ukrainian Canadians right across the country that he no longer stands with Ukraine on things that they need 